Hey guys, we're back in Chrono Trigger! Yeah, Chrono Trigger. Okay, so basically, we made it back to our own time period, and I'm gonna stop by my house to tell them I'm alright. God, he was just fucking telling everybody. If he was gonna tell everybody, like, how did he not get caught? Because clearly the verdict was not guilty, and I should have just been confined. So if he's telling everybody that I was gonna be executed... Yeah, we bring Megan back to meet you. Yeah. Well, she's been kind of busy. Thank you for taking the words out of my mouth. Say hi to your parents. That's your cue. That's pause. That's your cue to actually go back to uh, her house to get some stuff there. And you can do that periodically throughout the game. I don't know when the triggers are, but generally every time you're supposed to come back to this area is when you can actually do that. Alright, you can try going back to the castle in this time period. You can go explore the continent on the south. There's nothing there that you can have to do anything with. So your only real option is to go back to the fair and... Take the time portal back to 600 AD, which is what we're going to go do. Yeah. Uh, bringing Robo, you know, Knox along for the fair tr er, for uh, back to this time period. Or... Oh, that's right. Since we've already been through this portal, it opened up these two pillars here. Of uh, so basically, you'll stop here every time. And then you just go to the opposing pillar that also opens up, and it says, Truce Canyon, 680, all right, let's go. But yeah, bringing Knox back to the past is... has some interesting dialogue with people, but it's nothing... It's random NPCs out of the way, and I don't want to try to figure out where to find them. Plus, I want to use these three characters mainly because they've been... Uh, they get some interesting techniques in the as their next technique, and I would like to have them have that by the time I get to where I'm going. There are some imp aces here. Maverick? Goose? No. I wish, though. That'd be cool. Like, Maverick and Iceman suddenly just roll in, like, hey, how's it going? And Megan gained a level. Alright, other than that, nothing here changes. I'm gonna skip these guys down here. They're playing with an actual rolly this time, instead of the the orange one. Alright. And I shall skip the forest. Just don't forget to grab the shelter on the way through. And then we enter Guardia Castle back in the pass. And he's like, ah, oh, they're like, good. And then it's, oh, it's you. And we allow free reign into this castle. If you try to go back to Marley's castle, the one in the present, um, they just tell you... Uh, basically that, oh, catch him, he's a criminal, and then Marley says, let's get out of here, and you have to leave, and basically nothing happens. Alright, let's go. Again, do not grab the treasure here, unless you are capable of grabbing it in the future, which I am not. But the king was injured, we have to go see him, hopefully he'll be alright. Hey, queen. Cyrus, huh? I have to walk around his bed. No, what? How could you say that? The boy with the hero medal, huh? The sword that can defeat Magus. Hmm. That chest contains, like, some piece of armor that's really good, but, uh, I, again, I want to get that and the one in the, fu uh, the future, so I can't get it now. The hell? Why is a notification popping up? Go away. Alright. Sorry, that I, my restart, you know, you must restart notification pops up, and it does that a lot, and basically it does that every night at 3 a.m. I don't know why it's doing it now, but it does that a lot, and I rested already. There's something I needed to do. Oh, yeah, let's go see how things are going down here. You're not told to do this yet, I'm just gonna preempt the game. Hey, Gagger. Basically, he's trying to make food for the soldiers and uh, on the front lines and the king. Uh, you can grab that one. There's, I don't think there's a kitchen in the uh, present. 
But yeah, that notification just keeps coming up, and it's all like, restart. And I'm like, okay, I'll restart. And then it goes, configuring updates. And then, like, five minutes later, it's all like, updates, errored. So, you know, like, what the hell is the point of that, then? And the game's Camtasia's dropping frames again, because that stupid update notification. Can I let it catch up? Alright. Uh, skipping the forest again. Alright, we're back outside. And of course, the second I get outside, it's like, I'm gonna start losing frames again. Eh. And anyway, I'm just headed south, and you get to where you get to the bridge, and it actually stops you there, and it says Zenden Bridge, and you have to enter it. And it's like, oh, what's going on? Oh, and you talk to this guy, and he says, Has the supplies from the castle arrived yet? Well, that's your cue to go back to the castle. So I'm just going to meet you there. All right, we're here, and once again, frames are going away. Thanks, game. Why, why do you do this to me? Or do I lose subscribers? Your brother, huh? Oh, <laughs> they're having an uh, argument. Grow up. Oh, well. Yeah, what do you know, you silly maid? All right. <clears throat> oh, so it doesn't appear that these slides are ready. Got to go give the give the bad news to the knights. Wait. Oh, what's going on? Take the, oh, and he gives us jerky! <clears throat> and he gives us a power tab. That fool. Um, I'm guessing his brother is the knight captain, and I think if one of the, you talk to one of the maids down there, they tell you that. But I got a power tab. And I'm going to use that on myself. Because I'm greedy like that. Alright, so I will just meet you back at the bridge. All right, we're back at the bridge, and there's remarkably less knights here than there were before. Yes, here, you can have your your jerky, and the cook saved us all. No, see, you're going to make it back, because I'm going to go murder all those guys, and... Yeah, what what's happening? Danger music. Ah. Oh. The Knights of the Square Table. Oh, that's nice. Far outnumbered? It's because somehow, like, eight of you died on the way while we were going back and forth. And let no one through! You know what? Of course I will assist you. Why would I be an RPG hero if I would not assist you? And he gives us a gold helmet! Which, as soon as I can move, I will be putting on. Nice four-point boost defense. Nothing too spectacular there. Let's go. Let's go kick some ass. And wow, skeleton just one-shotting knights left and right. And it's this green dude. Looks kind of like the Hulk, only fatter. And it's Ozzy! Omegas is top general. I'll give you a taste of doom. Alright, uh, deceased, 110 HP, wow. Again, yeah, it's one of those areas where, uh, they take very little physical damage, but magic, basically, and they're dead. Now let's just, I probably could have just, uh, used Antipode and got rid of both of them. Antipode is an actual area spell, as opposed to a single target. It hits the target and several around it. I don't think its area is as big as Cyclone, but it's pretty big. You can just hit Ozzy. You don't have to... You don't have to magic him. And he... Oh, he needs help! And he's like, I'm getting out of here. Yeah. And you just continue going across the bridge. There's some night corpses we have to get around. You wait up. Does he look like a waiter? And he misjudged us. And he turns those knight corpses into more skeletons! No! Those are honorable knights, you jerk. And now they're your undead dinguses. Alright, some lightning. Yep. Frickin' 
cave bats with their ridiculous animation. That's what these guys are. Can't just, you know, do an attack on you. I have to pause, like, time, then fling at you, and then damage you, and then go back to where I was standing. Alright, did, did you attack Ozzy? You did, you jerk. I told you to kill that skeleton. Ozzy apparently takes no damage from magic, so... I don't know why Ozzy was, like, her n main target there. Just shoot him in the face. It doesn't matter who attacks Ozzy. It just has to have one person attack him while the skeletons are dead. And he's all like, Oh, I need help! And he runs away. And we get eight tech points. Very good tech farming over this bridge. Unfortunately, you can only do it once. And there's only two battles. Now I'm finished? Yeah, don't mess with me! I'm the man! Kind of like Johnny, only not as bad. And again, we're losing frames. That was doing fine up until now. And we're still losing them. But we have the boss bridge! The Zenin Bridge! This looking thing here, Zombor! And again, you're probably not seeing this because the game, the recorder's like, nope, no frames. And we have a boss against Zombor. Zombor has two pieces. He has his upper head piece, I think, which is the one that absorbs magic. Yep. And the lower piece. You want to use... If the two girls use uh, magic on the lower lower portion until it perishes. Oh, wait. Okay, that totally just absorbed that too. What the hell? Oh, okay. Uh, if I recall... Now that, now that it's coming back to me, I'm thinking that uh, the top half absorbs uh, lightning and fire, and the bottom half? Or wait, no. I'm just gonna have myself attack the top half there. Yeah, the, the bottom half uh, absorbs is weak to fire, and the top half is weak to ice, and I think they both absorb lightning, but I'm not sure. That's just the principle I'm operating under right now. Of course, it'd be great if you could actually see this. Stupid Camtasia. I don't know what it is. Ever since, like, Camtasia 8 came out, Camtasia 7 is just running retarded. And it's not just me. I mean, a lot of people around have had problems with gore, gore, gore. Don't steal HPs, you dirty man, you. But yeah, it's not just me. A lot of people have had been having problems with Camtasia 7. It's ridiculous how... Don't doom, do no doom, doom, doom. This is a little doom laser there. Ow, that hurt. Probably should have saved my turn for Aura World, but I did not. I must Aura herself there before she dies. Almost dead. 21 HP. Yeah, that's kind of close there. Uh, that didn't do as much healing as I wanted, but it'll get her out of danger range until my turn comes around again for uh, Aura World. Waiting for it, waiting for it. Don't put your... Ow! I like how her bar is full, but her turn thing hasn't come up yet, so I can't actually activate the... Alright. There, now we're pretty good. All set. Still plenty of MP. Time to go back down the offense. Rawr. Offense. Stop stealing HP! Especially for her. And I, is there a battle speed menu? Because that would be great if I could turn up the battle speed. Um, I think each of these pieces has an instant, or not instant, a, uh, a death throw attack where they do something as they're dying. I know the bottom one, which I usually kill first, is it drains all the MP from... whoever it hits. Okay, I guess not. Maybe it was the top one that does that. Hmm. Alright, time to just start hacking away at it. Oh, there, yeah, it was the top one that does that. And the bottom one just does a laser. But yeah, five, 350 experience points, 10 tech points, 1500 gold, I gain a level. Now you could run back all the way across the bridge and they'll thank you 
and proclaim you a hero, but they've done that anyway, so you don't have to actually do that. But what we're going to do is we're going to go venture into unfamiliar territory in the southern continent back in 680. I'm going to use one of like the shelters that I got during that trip of running back and forth. Save the game as the hero appears. And we'll continue next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I mean, they said something about a boy with the hero medal. Maybe we, it's uh, worth enough to take a look because he knows how to defeat Magus. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all your support and putting up with this nonsense. And have a good night, guys.